Hello, this is Chris Menard. I'm going to show you how to use SyncBack, which is a free program for home users so they can easily back up their desktop or laptop um, hard drive to an external hard drive or a flash drive. Uh, the first thing to do is download it, which I'm not going to show you how to do, but I will show you their website. Here's the website right here. When you get to the website, you have these options to pick from. The one you'll pick is right here, SyncBack Free. After you download SyncBack Free, it'll ask you do you want to run it. Just hit yes, or if you don't run it, just start it up. It'll open up, and the first thing to do is to set up a profile. Profiles, new. You can name this whatever you want to. I'm actually on my wife's computer, so I'm going to call it Karen's Backup. Hit next. It's telling you it's going to do a backup, nothing to change. Just hit next, or you can hit done. It's going to go from a uh, hard drive to a uh, hard drive, whether it's internal or external. So just hit done. Hit OK. I want to show you something before we do this. Where I'm backing this up to is my flash drive right here. Notice there's nothing on it. I'm going to just go quickly make a folder. You don't have to do this step, but I like to, and I'm going to just call it Karen's Backup. I'm going to minimize this. I'm back in Sync Back Free. Source. This is going to be your desktop or your laptop. So click this yellow folder. Go to your C drive. Users. Karen hit select folder. If you notice I haven't picked documents or desktop yet, I'll come to that in a second. Where do you want to, where's your destination or where do you want to back it up to? That's going to be your external hard drive. And I do want to put it in this folder that I created. Now I'm going to choose subdirectories and files and it's picking them from your source. Uncheck this box right here. I don't want to back up all the files on her computer. Usually you want to back up your desktop. You can hit the plus symbol to expand the desktop and see what's being backed up. You also probably want to back up documents. Once again I'm going to hit the plus symbol because I've got some folders in here I do not care to back up. So let's uncheck those. And if you notice I could even back up Dropbox if I wanted to and also have OneDrive on here. So it's a great program. SyncBack's a great program for backing up a lot of stuff. Click on OK. So we just picked our source and our destination and we also made our profile. So we downloaded the program. Source. Destination is step number three. Profile was step number two. So let's go see if it works. Click on OK. Would you like to perform a simulator run? It's basically going to show you what it's going to back up when it actually runs. I click yes. And this is everything it's backing up. Notice it's got some Word documents, PNG files. I should have some Excel files in here. There's an Excel file. Just hit continue. And if I actually want to run the backup, click on run. Let's go see if it works. Continue run. Look over here to the right. It's backing up and it backs up very quickly. Let's go check and see. Go back to computer. G drive. Karen's backup. Desktop. There's everything from the desktop. Documents. I didn't have anything in documents, but I'll put something in there in just a second. Let's see if it works. I'm going to minimize this. I'm back in sync back. Let's go and add something. I'm going to start Microsoft Word. Try to actually have running. I'm going to save this document to my desktop. Version 2 test. And just to see if it really works, I'm also save it. Just to show you this. To my documents. I'm back in sync back SE. 
I'm going to run again the backup. It's even showing me what it's going to back up again. Run, continue. Let's go test it and see if it worked. Desktop, version 2, documents, version 2. In real life, I would not back up the same Word document to documents and desktop, but I just wanted to test it. It is working. So the last thing to show you here, we did the profile. We named it Karen's Backup. We picked the destination and the source. That was easy to do also. But we need to do a schedule because I don't want to have to keep clicking Run. I want Sync Back to automatically back up. So here's how you do that. I've got Karen's Backup selected. Notice it says Schedule at the bottom. You can also just right click on it and get the schedule from here. Either one works. There's no schedule. Do you want one? Yes, you do. Pick today's date. The time, I'm not going to lie to you. Just leave this whatever time it says. Leave it as one day. Click on repeating and you want to go ahead and check to run this profile every one day. But to be honest with you, I don't want to back up every one day. If you want to back up every one hour, that would work right there. But I prefer to back up every two minutes or even one minute. It'll do it and it's very fast. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as two minutes for right now. And then finally check indefinitely. So basically, you'll never have to click Run again to back up, and it'll automatically back up your stuff every two minutes. Click on OK, and it's going to tell you that right now, to be honest, it's 12.13. So at 12.14, it's going to back up. Click on OK. So I just set up a schedule. So real quick, the three steps after downloading is to make a new profile, which we've already done and then to create a schedule which you could do from modify right here that's where we made the schedule I'm sorry that's where we made what we're going to back up and then to create a schedule when it's going to back up and what you're going to pick is today's date hit repeating and make this every two minutes that'll work make it indefinitely and then you're good to go so that is how you use Sync Back Free, a wonderful program. Thank you for your time.